Both the Laney boys and girls basketball teams were hoping for a little home cooking in the state quarterfinals with the games being played for the first time ever at Kristen Berry Fieldhouse. We'll start with the nightcap. Laney boys hosting a Morgan County team that eliminated them in the state semifinals last year. Second quarter, Laney works the ball to an open Zep Jasper. He hits the three-pointer. Laney up by five. Then again, they go back to Jasper in the same spot, same result. Wildcats up 21-15. They led 27-26 at the half, but Morgan County owned the second half. Fourth quarter, Laney trailing Christian Keeling, pushing the pass to great or great pass off the drive to Natash Tanksley. Laney down by six, and then Morgan County had all the answers laid. Jalen Ingram working inside finds Jordan Ford, and Morgan County would put the game away at the free throw line. They end Laney season 55. 50 the final. Same two teams meeting earlier in a girls' quarterfinals matchup. Defending champ Laney trying to get back to the state semis. Fourth quarter, Deisha Benjamin with the drop step hits the jumper. Laney up by a deuce. Then Aubriana Bonner gives it to Jaden Hamilton and gets it right back in the lane. Wildcats up 49 46, but this three from Alexis Brown ties it at 49, and everything was going Morgan's way late. Brittany Belser. Banks in the three-pointer. Morgan County goes up 58-53, and they win at 62-53 the final. One other GHSA game tonight. Lincoln County lost to Wilkinson County in the 1A quarterfinals, 76-39 down at Valdosta State. In the SCISA, both the Curtis Baptist boys and girls saw fantastic seasons come to an end. In the state semifinals, in the GICAA, the Alleluia boys and Thomas Jefferson girls both won state semifinal games, and they will play in championship games Saturday in America's Georgia.